Good morning and uh, welcome back. You know what's funny is uh, no matter where you go, you're always there. So really there is no vacation, is there, from yourself. You know, that's the interesting part of what's stable in your life is only you. And balance is important. Sorry I had to do the video on, uh, you know, some people uh, contacting uh, you guys and uh, being a little weird. Uh, I try to be balanced as much as possible. And interesting when you say balance, because balance is different uh, with different people. But uh, to get balanced, if you have emotional or mental problems, is actually to go beyond the mind and, and the emotions anyway. If you want to know what God is, you must go beyond any preconceived ideas of what God is. You must go beyond any concepts at all. You must go to that unconditioned state of awareness where there is no thought and there is no emotions, there is no preconceived or conditioned types of thinking or, or experiencing because when you're talking about something that's infinite, uh, there's no words that you can, there's no finite definitions that apply. And that's important to understand in that to, to experience the infinite, you only have to experience yourself. But yourself as an infinite being and the mind will never get you there. And the emotions will never get you there. You know, their old saying is, the seeker of God never finds God. Because he's always seeking. And if you're always seeking, you will never find. It all is. It all is. It's all in the present moment. It all exists. Difficult to stop thinking, yet the most simplest thing there is. You know, I think I told you, an old holy man told me one time, he said, you know, if you stop thinking and stop talking, there's nothing you won't know. And so, this is a question and answer video. Uh, I've been away for a couple of weeks and I do appreciate all your views and, and uh, thumbs up and down and all that. Um, uh, I'm going to go through these uh, in really no order here. Um, I've had a couple of inquiries about type 1 and I've, I'm going to get, I think, more pointed in videos. I think the next one I'm going to do is on autism, even though I've kind of covered these. Uh, again, very important for you to go back and know what the lymphatic system is in the body and the two sides of chemistry, the base or alkaline side and the acid corrosive side. Important to understand these two sides of chemistry and the words anionic and cationic. Anionic is an acid uh, uh, environment which coagulates, creates blood clots, uh, thicken fluids, dries up fluids eventually, and dehydrates you. And uh, the base chemistry is the alkaline chemistry is rehydrating. That's what we call your electrolytes. And this is the uh, predominant state of the body, uh, obviously. The body in an acid state decays. And so when you have a, uh, a cells that are not functioning properly, uh, it is generally genetics that start that thinking off, but it can also be damaged from acids. Well, there's only one true system that can do that in any long-term effect, and that's your lymphatic system, the body sewer system. You learn your lymphatic system and those two sides of chemistry and the important role of the kidneys and adrenal glands, and you'll have an awareness far beyond most medical thinkers. Uh, understanding uh, again the lymphatic system and I would understand the endocrine glands because we're going to talk about your government this morning as well. The government of the body controls everything and they're just little bitty glands but they produce your hormones, your steroids, your neurotransmitters and enzymes and, and serotonins you could say I guess. All these constituents uh, make everything happen. Without them nothing happens. So it's kind of like a supervisor or the boss of the company. His words control the, the actions of the people and his words are hormones, steroids, neurotransmitters in the, the physical body. So one of, one of the questions were, a couple of times was about t type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is very curable. Everything's curable. There's nothing not curable because you're talking about cells or fluids. There's only two things that you can experience a symptom with, and that's cells and two fluids. Uh, 
even even from the etheric or the emotional uh, spiritual side uh, when it's a physical based problem can reach in and affect these aspects of yourself type 1 diabetes there's two types as far as I'm concerned, there is the, uh, and this is what they call the uh, insulin uh, type, which basically to me means your body isn't producing enough insulin. Now, when you take a look at insulin, it's a hormone, and it carries glucose through the cell wall. Even though, now, think about the essential need that the cell needs every day. And the central need of every cell in your body is the same need as your car, and that is carbon and oxygen. Carbon is a sugar, and oxygen is oxygen, and it mixes. You've got a carburetor right here, and you require every day carbohydrates. It's essential that you have your sugars. There's three simple sugars out there. Galactose is the milk sugar, glucose is the fruit is the uh, vegetable sugar, and fructose is the fruit sugar. They're all three simple sugars, and they're the essential need that you have a simple sugar. Fructose is the superior one of the simple sugars because it doesn't require insulin to carry it through a cell wall. It absorbs through a cell wall by diffusion. It'll beat glucose through a cell wall. So uh, glucose, even though it's simple sugar, needs insulin as a carrier. Now, if you're on a diet of fruits and vegetables and you have insulin problems, you're going to see your glucose go up a little bit because your fructose is going to go into your cell way before your glucose. So you can glucose load a little bit. Type 1s that have this problem better off with an exclusively fruit diet. Now, uh, important to understand in today's world we're working on so much genetics and the, the genetics are predominantly in the kidneys, the adrenal glands, the thyroids, uh, the GI tract, uh, livers, gallbladders, I mean they, these are where these tissues are failing big time. We've beat up the kidneys so bad that if you look on the news everybody's having a kidney transplant nowadays. If you're below 50, you've got kidney weakness big time, and most of the older people have developed it. But in genetics, if you're, if you're below 40, you have genetically weak kidneys. And I can almost say that as a blanket statement because I see people from all around the world. Uh, unless you're Islanders. And Islanders have better genes in the kidneys, no question. They, they were raised uh, uh, more on fruits, less proteins. And uh, those, 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 uh, those ethnic groups that are raised on a lot of proteins have real bad kidney and GI tract problems. The type 1 is uh, also can be a neurological type 1, and we discussed this. Uh, the nervous system controls everything in the body, obviously. It's the electrical department. And the nervous system that controls the beta cell production of insulin is the, is the, the autonomic nervous system, which is located right here in your solar plexus stomach area, and that is controlled by the neural transmitters of the adrenal glands. And we're back to those adrenal glands again. Uh, type 2 is always the adrenal glands. That's sugar metabolism problems, and that is buddied up with low blood sugar hypoglycemia. So always, always work on your adrenal glands and kidneys. I could say that to all of us. We all have to work on our kidneys and adrenal glands. Very important. Type 1, very curable. A lot of, lot of, lot of uh, brittle type 1s. We have a lot of uh, type 1s on insulin pumps. Uh, easy to get off of these things. Uh, you should you have some help here at our clinic with that because the ketones can go up and the different things can happen and you ha should have some uh, help and, and um, we have a lot of uh, uh, moms that have gotten their children off of insulin or, or, and many times at least way down and uh, can help you with that. Uh, so uh, type 1 important to understand, very curable. Here's a young lady with hypothyroidism. Now. Raw fruits and vegetables, you will notice, is the key. Obviously, uh, you know, we, I still have medical doctors tell my clients that you shouldn't eat fruits and vegetables. I mean, where did these people come from? Uh, shouldn't have fruits and vegetables? What should you have? 